What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Dan Richard Fishing and today, today I'm going to be doing something that you guys kind of put me on blast for. So one of my most popular videos ever was how to do a 24 volt wiring system to a Minn Kota trolling motor and some of you sharp eyes folk out there noticed that my plug for the trolling motor was still a 12 volt um, kind of a 40 amp maximum plug and I didn't have the 60 amp or 70 amp maximum plug that I should have had. And to tell you the truth, I didn't even notice it uh, until after I made the video and I saw it written down by the plug, it actually said 40 amp max, my bad. But as promised, I told you guys that I would do an upgrade and I'd show you how to upgrade it, okay? So today, I've got a 70 amp trolling motor plug and this is from Marine Co. And uh, there will be, of course, a link in the description below as usual to everything we're gonna talk about. So today we're gonna do an upgrade. We're gonna pull the, all this off the very front of the bow and uh, get this awesome new plug in. I'm gonna show you what the difference is between this old plug and this one, and uh, we'll get this puppy installed, okay? So stick around, uh, and of course, you know, make sure you hit that like button if you appreciate these kind of install videos, and uh, of course, you better make sure you're best subscribed, okay? All right, guys, let's get into it. All right guys, so here's just a close up. This is the Marine Co 70 amp continuous rating for 12 volt and 24 volt systems. And it is a 60 amp continuous rating for 36 and 48 volt systems. Um, so you can see here, it's brand spanking new. We're gonna get this installed. And one of the big differences between this one and this plug is you can see that this plug here is a twist system. So this, you, you have to put it in the right way, twist and lock it in. This uses pressure. There's holes in between the three pins that close up as you put it into the receptacle and that's what uh, puts it in there and I like that a lot better it's just much easier to plug this in and it'll stay locked in versus screwing around trying to figure out this guy here and getting it locked in properly so I'm really excited about getting this locked in so let's open up the package and see what's uh, what's in here okay guys let's crack it open here whoa look out it's escaping all right, so first of all, we've got our plug. So you can see here, if you zoom in, you can actually see the little prongs that are right here. And you can see each one has a split down the center. And like I said, when you put it into the receptacle, these will squeeze down and apply pressure, and that's what keeps it in there. And of course, it's got the water seal on here. And this just unscrews, opens up, and we'll put the wires in here, and this will clamp down. And this is up for a three wire. But of course, on our plug, I'm only using two, but that's fine, it'll work, it'll work great. And then we have the receptacle unit here. Um, so this will just screw into the back this way. And uh, we've got the whole plug that opens up and there it is. And I like the fact that it has the added security of two screws here to keep this in position. So when this is screwed into the plate, it'll be like that, plus it locks down with this. Whereas the other receptacle only has this screw down, and which doesn't work that great because sometimes you'll plug it in and twist and the whole thing turns with it, which I'm not, which is, you know, I'm not a fan of. And of course, this is good for six gauge wire, which is exactly what we have installed on this boat. So uh, we're gonna start off, we're gonna go and get the old receptacle out. Uh, we're gonna cut the power off the battery and uh, yeah let's get this party started and get this puppy installed by the way guys in case you're wondering why I'm sweating like a pig it's like literally a hundred degrees outside I think it's 98 degrees with like 90% humidity it's boiling and inside the garage is not much better so bear with me while I'm sweating like a pig out here so listen first thing we got to do is we got to cut off the power so we're gonna go into the battery compartment uh, where all the batteries are for the trolling motor we're gonna disconnect our negative and positive for the battery system okay so let's check this out okay so first things first we're gonna get the negative off right here and this is the negative wire for the trolling motor so let's pop this guy off Okay, he's disconnected. Then I have the circuit breaker here. So we're gonna disconnect from the circuit breaker. There we go. Put this post back on here. There we go. Okay, perfect. Now we can safely work on the electrical system and we don't have to worry about getting zapped over here. So first, let's start off with the plug. So we're just gonna take the old plug off. So it's pretty simple. You basically just peel back the plastic sleeve here, and then you've got some wires that are screwed into the receptacle. Uh, and as I mentioned, this is a three wire. Now generally the way it works is you've got a black wire and you've got, which is your ground, and you could have a black and red, black and white, something like that, and that'll be your positive. And generally the holes that these go into are numbered. Number one is usually the ground, and number two, which is right, written right there, is gonna be your positive. So we're just gonna undo these screws on the side, 
right here and here, and we're gonna pop out these wires and then we don't need this anymore. So let's go ahead and do that. Don't forget to unscrew this part here. This is what clamps the wires down, holds them in place. There we go, bzz, bzz. <laughs> all done. So this will be ready to put on the new receptacle. All right, so to take off the, uh, to get this apart, first things we need to do are unscrew these two screws right here, and that'll open up the whole section here to get the wires in, so let's take that apart. Then we're gonna take the three screws out that are here. And there you go. So this what, that's what this looks like. Now you can see this is much more robust in terms of how this works. It's got two Allen bolts for every channel. And it's got those big heavy duty screws in here. So this really, really cranks down on the wire. And you got dual waterproof here, dual seals. So as you can see, this is just a much more heavy duty. I mean, this also weighs way more. You can tell it's just a heavy duty, more robust plug. So let's go ahead and uh, get this hooked up, okay? So we're gonna start off by loosening these Allen bolts on. And again, it's the same principle, number one, number two, number three, they're all wired. So this is gonna be our ground, number two is gonna be our positive. And it's actually marked negative and positive as well, just to avoid any confusion. All right, let's do it. The kit, by the way, comes with the Allen key you need, and it also comes with these little sleeves. All right, and these little sleeves are used to secure the wire. So you put the wire in here, and then that'll go inside here, and then you screw it down. All right, let's do it. So if we look at the back of the receptacle, there's like a rubber uh, membrane that's here for the waterproofing. So we're just gonna pass the wires through these two holes right here. And don't worry about this, this attaches after. We just attach those right in like this, they just slide in and like that. So for now, we're just gonna pass them through these two holes that are here. There you can see they're going through. Like that. And then you take the little sleeves and the sleeves will go over the wires like so. Like that. And then these go plug into here like this. So this is our ground, uh, sorry, this is our positive. So positive plugs into number two like that. And then we just go ahead and use the Allen key and bolt these down like that. We're gonna do both of these guys. All right, we're gonna really tighten these up. Because you do not want this coming apart while you're on the water, that's for sure. Oh, and already I like the way this works better than the other receptacle. I mean, this is just so much more secure, it's crazy. There you go, guys. Yeah, that ain't coming out at all. All right, let's go ahead and put the negative in. There we go, all right, nice and tight. Okay, so now we got that all screwed in and it all lines up. There's an arrow right here and there's an arrow on the top of the receptacle. So you know exactly how it needs to go back together. So there's no, no little mix ups on that one because that's definitely something you don't want to screw up. There we go. And then we'll go ahead and we will put these bolts back in. By the way, these are not a standard thread. It's a kind of special thread that you just give it a couple of screws and it just goes, like, you just do one turn and boom, it's inside. It's really an interesting texture. It almost looks like a, kind of looks like a, um, a grinding bit for a Dremel more than it does any kind of thread. It's kind of an interesting pattern. And you can see here, I just literally go, look, 
one half turn and it's pretty much all the way in. And that's it. Oh, <laughs> guys, I made a mistake. I forgot to cut this off. Oh, it's okay. I'm going to just cut this off with a knife because I will never be using this receptacle again. <laughs> Too funny. All right, guys, make sure you take the sleeve off next time first. All right, now we can go ahead and put the uh, those little clamps on that hold the wires in place. And again, they just slide. There's little, there's little tabs that are on here that this just slides right onto. And that's it. Easy as pie. There we go. You can see how that looks. And then we're just going to screw those shut. Remember guys, this is plastic, so you don't want to, you know, you want to make it tight, but not, uh, not crazy tight. You don't want to break anything. That's it. We're good to go. All right, we've got the proper plug. So now, next job is to go ahead and change the receptacle, uh, which is gonna be a little bit more of a job because I have a funny feeling mine's gonna need some serious customizing, but uh, let's go give it a shot. All right, guys, here you can see the old receptacle. And of course, while I was recording the video, I never noticed, but it actually says max 40 amps right there. So, oops, my bad. So this is what we're gonna change. And this is the old receptacle plug. And here's the new one. So you can see there's quite a size difference involved. Um, that's why this is gonna need a little bit of custom cutting, but that's okay, we'll get it. Uh, uh, we'll get it done. So we are going to go ahead and unscrew this and pop this off and unscrew what's in behind here. Okay, so let's get that done. Guys, check this out. The positive actually popped off when I took this out. So there you go. So it's a good thing we we're changing this out because that's really not good. Okay guys, there's our wires, good to go. And here is the old receptacle. And like I mentioned, it's just this simple little thing here that screws it on. And you can see it's tiny, it's the size of like a silver dollar. And that just pops off like that. And there you go, that's it. That's all there is to it. Uh, again, for size comparison difference, there's the two receptacles. So you can see this is just a massive difference. So. Get rid of that. And now we gotta figure out how to get this puppy in here. So we're gonna finagle with this a little bit. Okay, so the new receptacle, we're just gonna take it apart, okay? So this will unscrew off the back. And then this whole square piece, that's the piece we want, all right? So this is what we're gonna use as our template uh, for aligning this up properly. Now will go like that. Um, so this is what we're gonna use right here. And we're gonna line it up onto the piece of plastic and I'll just draw it out how I need this to, to go through. All right, so let's, uh, let's go ahead and get a marker out and we'll go ahead and mark where we need to cut. And I'll probably just use a Dremel and just cut it out with the Dremel, okay? Let's do it. All right, we're just gonna line this up reasonably straight. There's our template. Cool, all right, let's get the Dremel out. All right, guys, here we go. <laughs> Test fit here. Boom. There you go, guys. There's a test fit. That looks really good. All right, let's see with the plate on. Okay, guys, we've got the plate on, the face plate, and the, uh, the little cap gasket thingy. So let's put this on here and do a test fit. Make sure it looks good. Uh, 
Oh, that looks great. That looks really, really good, guys. There we go. Yeah, that looks really good. In fact, I think we can pretty much keep it right there like that. Oh yeah, that looks great. We can actually go ahead and just screw this on right now. You can use a nice big tool on here if you need to, a nice big wrench to tighten it down. But we'll do it by hand like that. Oh yeah, that looks great. Beauty. Then we just need to make some little guide holes right here for the screws. And we're all set. All right, good stuff, that looks good. Let's go ahead and get the wires in here too. And then we can test out the trolling motor, all right? Let's do it. Okay guys, and as discussed, we're going to go ahead and put the wires in and it's the same thing. You see one and two, and there's a little plus and minus right here. So this is gonna be our ground, and this is gonna be our positive, and uh, we're gonna use those little sleeves again and uh, use our little Allen wrench here and we're good to go. Okay guys, let's get started and uh, open up these Allen keys here. Give it a couple of practice tugs, make sure nothing pops out. There we go, guys. You can see that looks great. Nice and tight in there. It's going nowhere. We've got the proper plug on here. We're good to go. So next up, we just need to make a couple of little holes here for the screws that are gonna hold the plate in properly, okay? So we'll just go get a little, uh, little drill bit and make some holes in here so we don't crack the plastic. Okay guys, so we're gonna start off with uh, a small drill bit. This is a three and 32. Um, we'll see if that makes the, the hole big enough because I don't wanna make it too big and uh, these things don't bite. So we're just gonna make sure this is exactly where we want it. And we're gonna drill our little pilot holes. That's that. Uh, looks like it was a good size, guys. It's going right in. There we go. Again, don't you don't have to go crazy tight. You don't want to break anything. This is all plastic. There we go guys, that's just gonna go there like that. Nice. All right, so before I go and screw this on here, what do you say we do a test? Let's test out the plug, make sure everything works. So we'll reconnect our power and uh, plug it in, make sure this works before I go and commit to screwing this all back in. Let's do it. Okay, no fireworks, good sign. Okay guys, so here we want this to be green. Boom! We're in the business, here we go, turn this. Oh yeah, there you go guys, we're good. Success! All right guys, last step, we're gonna just screw this guy back in, we're good to go. There we go guys, we just need to get the vacuum out, get the shop vac out and clean the carpet. But that's it, it's done and it looks fantastic. And no more twisting and screwing around, you just pull it out, bang, it's done. When you wanna put it back in, push, it's done. Love this, I'm so happy we got this done.
All right, guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial, this little bit of DIY, DIY action. Uh, and of course, this is a very, very necessary upgrade. So guys, you can see how super easy it is to, to change these receptacles. And bear in mind too, if you only have uh, a, tw a 12 volt, 40 amp system, you can still put this plug on. I just find it so much easier to just have the straight plug in and plug out with the pressure and, that, and that's it. It's just way easier. So it's okay to put a 70 amp uh, rated receptacle if you only need 40. It's no big deal. It's the other way around where you start getting dangerous like I did. And you saw, I mean, I didn't make it up. You guys saw me unscrew this thing when I popped it out. The, the, the positive wire was actually popped right out. So obviously this is, thank God we did this. This is much needed. And to all you guys that pointed it out uh, on my old video thanks a lot because you're right you know this was absolutely necessary to do so guys thank you so much i hope you like the video drop a like make sure you subscribe all that good stuff and uh, thanks again for your, all your support guys you know we've recently passed the thousand subscriber mark and this you know the channel's getting bigger and bigger every day um i am doing a lot of work uh, you know right now we got the whole craziness going on in the world um but i am working again working full time so it's been uh, it's tough to find time to make these videos but i just really really enjoy it i love doing it uh and i hope that you know translates into great videos for you guys okay so again thank you so much for all your support it means a lot to me if you got any questions comments all that good stuff you know where to write them i'll have a link in the description below with some information where to get this also what are the power requirements and amperage requirements for breakers uh, and for these things it'll uh, there'll be a link down there so check it all out it'll all be in the description all right guys thank you so much have a good one we'll see you on the next video peace